Hi, my name is Dave Coyle with Clemson Extension. Today we're going to talk about the Asian Longhorn Beetle. This is a new, invasive, wood-boring beetle that's recently become established in Charleston County, South Carolina. We're standing here in the low country. We're sitting right by a tree that's very heavily infested. And there's a few characteristics for Asian Longhorn Beetle that can help you realize this tree might have it. The first thing are these little conical oviposition pits. Uh, the adult will sit there and chew a little nudge into the tree and then they will lay their eggs in there. They'll turn around and lay the eggs. The larvae then develop in the foam for a few weeks and then they burrow straight into the wood. They feed on the wood for a number of months and at that point they pupate and they come out. And when they come out, they make these perfectly round exit holes. And these are round enough and big enough where you can stick a pencil in there about an inch or so. The adults will emerge from that. They will come and they will feed on the tender green bark of these little shoots. So you have this chew damage here. And at that point, those adults are gonna mate. Females will start chewing egg niches again. She'll turn around and lay her eggs and the cycle repeats. This is the adult Asian longhorn beetle. You can see she's got very long black and white striped antennae. If you look closely on the feet, they look blue. They've got a bluish, a whitish blue tinge to them. And then she's got this big black body with white spots. And one important thing is that right behind where the head and the abdomen meets, the thorax and abdomen meets, there's no white spot. It's all black. We have a common sawyer here uh, that has a white spot right there. So these three characteristics are the best way to tell if you have an Asian longhorn beetle. If you think you've seen an Asian longhorn beetle, we'd like you to contact one of three people. First is Clemson DPI, Department of Plant Industries. Second, contact your local Clemson Extension County agent. And third, contact the USDA Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, or USDA APHIS.